Hey, it's me, Haley, again for Classable ESL. We're continuing on with our series, a fairly comprehensive review of online teaching platforms. And today we're going to dive into Cambly and Cambly Kids. Cambly seems like a solid option for a backup, short notice, make a little side cash with a little bit of effort kind of project. Um, I think it could be really good for some teachers who can't schedule out in advance, um, who don't really know what their next day is going to bring them. Uh, this could be great for teachers who are on the road. So let's look at the pros of Cambly. The content is provided for some lessons, and for other lessons, it's just like a free talk only sort of thing. It doesn't seem like there's any real prep required. You just log in and take the calls that come to you. I think you can schedule with students in advance if you want, but you also have the option just to kind of be short notice and go like on the fly. Pros number two, they have high volume hours uh, with some minimal guaranteed pay. So even if you don't take any calls, I think you still get paid 15% of the hourly rate. So, or no, you get paid for 15 minutes of the hourly rate. So 25%. Math is hard. Pros number three, there are separate platforms for adults and for kids. So this helps teachers to really differentiate who they want to teach and you don't get roped into teaching kids if you don't want to. It's a very specific uh, subset of teachers who can handle teaching ESL to kids. Pros number four, there's a quick and simple application process. You kind of fill out a few fields about yourself. Um, you can submit a teaching certificate if you have one, or you don't need any kind of specific training. Do you film a short video, like one minute about yourself? Pretty simple. I thought that their website design was really nice. That's another pro. Uh, they also have their own chat platform. So I think that's really kind of a good look on Camply. Pros number six. This doesn't really seem like a pro, but they haven't approved my application yet. Um, I applied on August 10th, it's August 27th and I I got an email that said that they are reviewing my application and that they are considering it and that I should continue to check back. Um, their email said that they don't they try not to approve too many new tutors until they have a student volume to match. So they're trying to protect their existing tutors, which is great. Good job, Cambly. Hooray! Protecting your teachers. Wonderful thing to do. It seems really logical. It's not a bad business move. I'm not upset. Well, let's talk about the cons. They have a relatively low pay. I think it's something like 17 cents per minute. So if you are a certified teacher with kind of advanced degrees, you might feel like you're not really being paid what you're worth. But... At the same time, it's a really low pressure, low prep kind of platform. So they couldn't be paying teachers a lot for kind of a minimal sort of teaching job. Not to downplay Cambly for people who work there, but I just think it's not, it's not like they're asking you to plan a 60 minute lesson with tons of activities. It's more of free talk and kind of casual English learning. My verdict, it could be really great. Uh, it could be a great low prep, low pressure side gig for lots of teachers. It could be a great full time thing if you're traveling and you can kind of live cheap and you don't need to make a whole lot of money, you just need something to get by. I think Cambly seems like a wonderful thing for what it is. And if they would get back to me, I would probably take them on and try and do some like late night for me here and I'm in Central Europe time zone. So I could do some late night talk teaching while my kid is asleep. That could be some really good side money for me. I'm waiting to hear back from them. And what about you? Do you work for Cambly or Cambly Kids? Do you have some insight on their application process? Did you get further in the process than I did? Leave me a comment down below so I can learn something more about Cambly. I hope that this series is helping you so far to kind of get some insight on teaching platforms if you're gearing up to fill out some applications. Just remember, make every class your best class. See you later. Bye!